Good morning, everybody. Today is day five of our week of fasting and prayer. And today we pray for the families and children. And what an incredible privilege to work with children and to live in a community where we cherish um, our children and where children are so important. Now, Harry and I want to encourage you today to pray for families and children by using prompts from everyday life. So you might live close to a school or a nursery school or a play park and you often hear children play. Maybe you have neighbours with children. So if you hear them pray today, pray for our local schools and nursery schools and for all the many people that are involved in running and leading the wonderful schools in our little town. We are truly blessed to have so many wonderful schools. Pray for all the teachers and staff and all the lollipop ladies and dinner ladies too. Then, when you check your phone, pray for our children's well-being, uh, physically and emotionally, that they will have really good friends that encourage and build them up. We pray that all their basic needs and more will be met and that every child in our community will feel cherished and loved. Pray that bullies will stop bullying, especially online bullies, because we can't see them. Whenever you look at the time, when you look at a watch or when you notice the time of day, pray specifically for all the families connected with our Beulah family. All the families from toddlers and B40 and Sunday Club and creche and the young people. Because why? We are the next gen we are the next generation and we really need your prayers. Right, lastly, when you do the dishes or other chores in the house or when you take the bins out, pray for every helper and employer, every worker, every volunteer that works with children and young people. Pray for all the parents and the grandparents too. Pray for that enormous responsibility that they have to shape and to guide our children. Pray that our parents will have m m more time to play with us. That's really important, Harry. <laughs> okay, shall we pray then? Okay. Hands on our hearts. Father God, fill us with your love and help us to love everything that you've made. Let's point to our eyes. Lord Jesus, help us to see you and to see other people the way you see them. Let's point to our ears. Holy Spirit, help us to hear you and give us the courage to do what you say. Amen. Amen.